This is an example of the absolute and incredible stupidity of some of the citizens of this community that are willing to risk everybody's lives and think that they're superior to everybody else, that they get to decide whose life frickin' matters. Sheriff Noel Norman speaking very frankly during a morning press conference to announce those arrests. Reporter Andy Cunningham joins us now with a live desk. And Andy, he had some very harsh words for people. Adriana Sheriff Noel Norman was fired up today, but he said it's not just him who should be after three of his deputies narrowly missed being struck by a barrage of bullets fired at them by a known criminal. If looking at those pictures don't take your breath away, you're not human. You have no emotion. From the fifth floor of his office's West Bank headquarters, Sheriff Newell Norman talking about how close multiple rounds fired into this unmarked JPSO vehicle came to striking three of his deputies last Tuesday while patrolling an area of Marrero known for extensive drug use. When you looked at those pictures, you saw the placement of those rounds? A second would have made a difference between possibly life or death. Norman said those rounds were fired by 21-year-old Malcolm Hall of New Orleans using a stolen 9mm semi-automatic attached with a red laser sight. This is an example not only of the risk, but this is an example of the absolute and incredible stupidity of some of the citizens of this community that are willing to risk everybody's lives and think that they're superior to everybody else, that they get to decide whose life frickin' matters. Investigators also arrested 20-year-old Terrence Carter in connection with the shooting. Carter admitted he was with Hall and a juvenile at the time, but that it was Hall who fired the shots. Inside Carter's James Street home, where both men were located, detectives seized drugs and four pistols, three of them reported stolen. We have too many people that don't give a damn about their conduct and what they're doing. Norman saying Tuesday, this is a local example to a growing national problem, as he called it, an assault on police. We collectively and collaboratively, law enforcement, public safety in general, and the public have to collaborate to change what's going on out here. And Hall, who is refusing to cooperate with investigators, is facing numerous charges, including three counts of attempted first-degree murder. Carter's charges may include possession of a firearm and a controlled substance. A third person, as mentioned earlier, a male juvenile, was questioned, then released. Adriana? All right, thank you so much, Andy. And in today's news conference, a sheriff claimed that one of the recovered guns belonged to a New Orleans police officer. That was something the NOPD has disputed all day. And late this afternoon, the sheriff's office has admitted that was an error. In a statement, officials noted that information was incorrect, the result of a communications error at the department. The JPSO now says the stolen 40 caliber semi automatic handgun does not belong to an NOPD officer. The theft of that gun was reported back on August 5th from a home in the 1400 block of LaSeppe Street.